Hey, what is up everybody? It's AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I use the Surface Pro 8 for productivity. I've been given the Surface Pro 8 as my main work device and I've been using it for about a month now. The specs I have in front of me is the i7 16 gig with the 256 gig SSD and most importantly, it has the optional LTE, meaning I'm always connected to the internet so I've got a SIM card inside of here as well. This video is to teach you some of my tips and tricks to hopefully make you more productive. So of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So I do a lot of presentations in my job. And again, the Surface Pro is the best device to present with because I can undock it from the keyboard and it allows me to actually break away from the podium. Really what that allows me to do is actually wirelessly present from my Surface Pro by simply pressing Windows and K, wirelessly sending my content to a screen behind me, putting the Surface Pro on my forearm by using the kickstand to make it nice and secure, annotating and marking up with the Surface Pen, and it allows me to make my presentations a lot more engaging because I'm undocked from the podium, I'm wirelessly presenting and annotating on my content, and it's all really smooth and secure because that kickstand is locked across my arm. Like I said, one of the biggest advantages of the Surface Pro 8 to me is having LTE or that SIM card inside of it so it means I'm always connected to the internet. Having a SIM card in the Pro also means that if my home Wi-Fi ever drops out, it's simply gonna switch from the home Wi-Fi over to the LTE without ever missing a beat, meaning that I can just continue working. No matter where I am, the beauty of always being connected to the internet and not bothering with hotspots and tethering and Wi-Fi passwords just means I can pull out the laptop, turn it on, and I'm good to go. The Surface Pro 8 is arguably the best two-in-one Windows device on the market, and it has an amazing handwriting experience thanks to the screen and of course the Surface Slim Pen 2. I don't know where I would be without the OneNote program because I've been using it for years, and I can tell you that OneNote and the Surface Pro 8 is the best experience yet. Being able to naturally take my notes and annotate and mark up and write on the screen means that I can do so much more using the Surface Pro, and it's just a really good experience. The Surface Pro switches so easily from a laptop to a tablet to a twin one and all these other different modes of working with the Surface Pro and the pen. And of course, pairing with OneNote just makes my workflow such a breeze. One of the biggest ways I use OneNote is of course in meetings where I can actually just drop the Pro down in front of me, pull out that pen and start writing and annotating away. And then of course, as I'm writing, it's gonna learn my handwriting. I can of course convert that ink to text. I can annotate and draw things out, which would normally be a much harder way of explaining things to people if you're typing away. And it also means I can focus when I'm in the meeting because I'm just taking notes when it's important and not just typing away like a robot on my computer. Another really big advantage of the Surface Pro is of course the different modes that it comes in. It is a twin one and it's the best twin one device on the market for a reason. You can easily go from a regular laptop to a tablet to a twin one, drop it down on the desk. And of course that three by two aspect ratio means that you actually get 11% more real estate than the 16 by nine inch screen. And you also have a thin and light package to carry your pro around in. Laptops also tend to be a barrier when you are in a meeting. You physically have this thing between you and the person and they can't actually see what you're doing. Right now, if you're in a meeting, you wouldn't know if I was actually paying attention, taking notes on my emails or on YouTube. But if you push that pro down in front of you, you can actually use this to start taking notes and annotating away. You've gotten rid of that physical barrier between you and the person, and it's just gonna make your meeting so much more productive because you can focus on the person that you're speaking to while also taking meaningful notes with the Surface Pen. Sticking to the pen, of course, it is not just about taking OneNote notes. There is so much more productivity to be had when you use the Surface Pen. The ability to annotate over PDFs and mark up documents and of course share whiteboarding sessions just make remote and hybrid collaborations so much better. My partner and I, were actually planning our wedding right now and whenever she gets a form that she has to fill out, she says, hey, can I use the Surface Pro? She grabs out the pen, she marks up those documents and she sends them back straight away. There's no more printing out the document writing on it with a physical piece of paper, uh, scanning it with your phone, sending it back to yourself via email, then sending it off again. It's all done on the computer. So even workflows like that just become so much more seamless and easy. The Surface Pro has two amazing cameras on it. One at the front, that five megapixel Windows Hello camera, and of course that camera at the back. I wanna start by telling you how I use the camera at the back because this actually can really improve your workflow depending on the work you do. I use it quite a bit when I'm out at customer sites. I was at a customer site not that long ago where they had an issue that I need to report and send it back to our tech team. Normally what I would have done was 
grabbed my laptop, taken a whole bunch of notes, trying to write out and explain everything, or possibly taken a photo on my phone and then sent it across. The Surface Pro 8 actually managed to streamline that entire workflow because what I did was grab the Surface Pro, use the camera on here to take a photo or a couple of photos, grab those photos and import them directly into OneNote. As soon as they're in OneNote, I grabbed out the Surface Pen, started marking up and annotating all over it. Then I hit the share button and sent that page with my photos, my annotations straight to the tech team. That took me a couple of minutes. It was a beautiful and seamless workflow. The customer could see that I'm actually actioning things straight away because I'm actually taking photos in the situation, annotating and marking up my thoughts and sending it straight away. And then of course, because this is an LTE device, I didn't have to worry about being connected to Wi-Fi. I just did it on the spot. So that's how the cameras, or that's one example of how the cameras can improve your workflow. And of course, when you are on video calls, the Surface has that five megapixel front-facing windows low camera for awesome video quality. The dual far-field microphones allow it to focus on your voice while drowning in the background. And it just means that when you're on video calls, you can have an awesome experience there as well. The Surface Pro 8 has two Thunderbolt 4 ports on it, meaning I can connect a wide range of external peripherals to it, including dedicated graphics cards, although that part isn't really in my workflow. The best thing about having Thunderbolt 4 ports on the Surface Pro though, is the fact that they're both powered, meaning that I can plug my Surface Pro into a monitor that has a USB-C connector, plug it in with one cable, and I'm doing power, video, audio, everything through that one cable. And then of course, the final way that the Surface Pro 8 makes me productive is the fact that it is a full Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine. So I can run all my standard applications, Office, Word, Team, Excel, OneNote, any program you want is gonna run on here. And because it is a high specs machine, they're gonna run really, really well. So there you guys have it. That is how I use my Surface Pro to be more productive. I hope you guys found some tips and tricks in here that help you be productive as well. If you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.